this video can serve as a great distraction from all the craziness and the negativity and anxieties on the media. Peace and love always. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Alyssa Marie here, just in case you're new. So today's video is kind of gonna be like an unpopular opinion edition type of video. So I don't use oils in my hair. Plain, simple, done. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys exactly why I don't use oils in my curls. And I also wanna share the huge difference that I noticed in my curls once I stopped using them completely. Basically, I'm hoping this reaches some of you if you are struggling with your curls. This could be your curly girl problem and causing you all the issues that you're experiencing with your curls. So I'm hoping this reaches some of you and you're like, ooh, let me try that. And then boom, flourishing curls like that that's the goal. So before we jump straight in, just a quick little announcement for me. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this, but I wanted to let you guys know, my YouTube fam, that I have officially applied to be a part of the Sephora squad this year. The Sephora squad is basically Sephora's yearly influencer program, and so I've applied to be chosen as a part of it. It would honestly be a dream come true. And basically all I would need from you guys is if you could just click the link below in my description box and leave me a testimonial, that will greatly increase my chances of being chosen if you have like two seconds today go ahead click that link you can write about how maybe I've inspired you or impacted you in any way through my content or just if you think that I would be a great fit for the Sephora squad you can go ahead write that let them know anything at all that you submit would help me greatly and I would love you forever thank you so much in advance all right, so let's jump in to this no hair oil thing. Now, obviously it's like near impossible to completely say absolutely zero oils in my hair because products are made up of oils. You know, they're mixed into curl creams and leave-in conditioners and stuff. So I'm not saying that I don't use products with oil in it because I do, but what I don't use are those standalone oils that so many naturalistas tend to use argan oils moroccan oils coconut oil like i don't use those standalone oils in my hair so the main reason why i don't use those standalone oils in my curls is because basically all oil does is coat your strands especially the oils that have silicones in them Ugh, that's like a double whammy it's like horrible so what happens to your curls when it's coated is that it's literally like in sealed in this layer of oil and silicone and basically that prevents any further moisture from getting into your hair strand which is i mean like that is what you need constant moisture for curly hair so earlier on in my natural hair journey i thought that oils were needed to seal moisture into your hair so that it stays in your hair but I never ever thought about the fact that once it's sealed, no more moisture would be able to come back in. I was honestly like really into the oil thing because who doesn't like shiny curls, you know? Like when you think about oil, you think about shiny and beautiful and moisturizing and stuff. But honestly, what I ended up experiencing when I was using oil consistently over and over again was one, a lot of product buildup, which then turned into a ton of frizz. Like frizz is probably the main thing that I experienced when I was oiling like heavy. And I know this can come as a shock to you or be like really confusing and frustrating because you see the whole porosity videos and they tell you if you have low porosity, this is what you gotta do and blah, blah, blah. And oils are usually in the whole mix of that. But honestly, I'm here to tell you from my own experience, oils are a huge no-no for my curls. So with the combination of buildup and frizz, my hair was just a hot mess. Honestly, like on day one, it would be cool. It would be great popping, but then it just wouldn't last. My curl definition would not last. My curls were laid down. Like we didn't get this bouncy kind of volume that we've got today. And it was just a little bit of a struggle. And for the longest time, I didn't realize that it was the oils causing this. Cause who would sit back and think like, oh, must be the oils. When you think about oils, you think like, oh, that's gotta be healthy for my curls, right? Like we've been taught that since the beginning of time. So I do have to say that there is a little bit of an exception. So for when I do my twist outs or if I do like a perm rod curl set, I will use oils once my curls are dry, if I want a little bit of extra added shine. That's the only time that I will use an oil. But the only oils that I use are the spray ones that are super lightweight and the ones that are 100% silicone free. And even then, I barely use any of it. I use very, very little. So just quickly off the top here, if you really, really like shiny curls and feel like you're gonna struggle giving up oils, 
100%, then I would just say to just try out the spray oils first and use them very, very lightly. Um, so this one here is by Alake Naturals. It's their Lemongrass Sleek and Shine Finishing Oil. And then the Majesty Radiant Shine Therapy Spray. So yeah, if you still want to have that little bit of a spray oil, if you are a girl who does twist outs and perm rods quite frequently, then these are two oils that I would suggest to you that are silicone free and pretty lightweight so you wouldn't have to worry about too much buildup, especially depending on how you use it. Um, speaking of how I use these, I actually don't even spray them directly into my curls. I spray into my hand first, then rub a little bit, and then literally just kind of pat very sparingly into my hair. And that's it. All that really does, like this is called a finishing oil, that's all it really does. Finish off the look, give you a little bit of added shine without all that crazy buildup, and that's it. So on top of me not using those standalone thick hair oils, I also stay away from products that are too buttery and too oily in itself. So when you look on the back of a product, you'll see the ingredients list. And the way that those are listed are in order of amount. So if you see a product that says water first, then that product is made mostly up of water. So those first like three or four ingredients that you see listed there make up the majority of what is inside that product. So I stay away from products that have oil, 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 oil in like the first line. Cause then I know it's just gonna be too much oil, it's gonna be too heavy. I always realize that when I use those intensively oily, buttery products, it just, it, it never turns out good for me. My hair right now, See, this is an example where you can still have great shine, volume, definition, like an overall decent look without using a crazy amount of hair oils or buttery products. So basically, I'm just trying to encourage you to be more aware of the type of products that you're putting in your hair and to really just listen to your curls and see how your curls are reacting to it. A lot of times those heavy buttery products are gonna look really great the first time you use them, but you'll notice after a while if you continue to use them, the amount of buildup is just gonna really make your curls unhappy. And then you start to get frustrated and wonder what you're doing wrong and then you think it's other products when it's really that really buttery product and it can just be really frustrating. I'm just trying to highlight the fact that oil really could be the source of your number one curly girl issues. So if you're watching this video right now thinking, oh my gosh, I use oils every day, I'm having all these issues, I need to stop immediately, the first thing that you need to do with your curls, if you're trying to take this no oil hair stance with me, is to do a deep, cleanse and i mean a cleanse that is deeper than what your co-wash can give you and y'all know i'm a co-wash girl but i always talk about doing that deep cleanse like once a month and that's the cleanse that i'm talking about so you're going to reach for your apple cider vinegar that will really just clarify your hair get rid of all of that buildup that you've been putting on there and then that's when you move forward with the lightweight products, the less oily and less buttery products. Okay, and so now you're probably like, all right, Liz, we're gonna cleanse, what do we use after? So if you guys are interested in seeing kind of what products I'm using on the daily, on the weekly, whatever, make sure you're following me on Instagram. I always, always, always tag what I'm using in my stories and also in my feed, in my captions. So go ahead and follow me on there. Since I have completely given up Diva Curl, which was my number one of all time favorite brand, I have still currently just been experimenting with different brands, different products here and there. So I'm still working on finding my holy grail set of products, which I will share with you guys as soon as I have it pat down. But yeah, right now Instagram is gonna be your best resource if you are interested in seeing what I'm using frequently. I really hope you guys found this video useful. If you have any more questions for me, go ahead and comment them below. And if you did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. And if you didn't subscribe in the beginning, you got one more chance to do so now. And as you're doing that, two more videos to check out. I love y'all. I will catch you in the next one. And please stay inside.